Hello guys and welcome back to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to take a drive that has been in a server with another block format and then I'm going to show you how to turn it into 512 format. This way your drives can be used in a normal PC, server or even in Windows if you want to. Now I recently bought about 500 terabytes, yes half a petabyte of disks and I bought them extremely cheap. It was a great bargain. But they come with a catch, and that is that it's NetApp drives. And NetApp drives are the block size 520, typically, which means I'll not be able to use them in a normal PC. But I'm going to show you right now how to format them and make sure that you can use them on any machine that you like. Now, as you can see here, I have bought quite a lot of drives. Now, um, just about 50, and they're all 10 terabyte drives. Um, as you can see, there is just way too many. Um, I don't think I have a purpose for all of them yet, but what I'm going to show you now is how you can format them to be a block size 512 and you should be able to use these drives for anything you like. So even if I don't need them all, I can format them and I can keep them or I can sell them. I can do whatever. Um, they'll format, uh, they'll work after the format uh, as a completely normal SAS disk. So let's get right to it. All right, so I have gone ahead and just installed Ubuntu on a little test machine here. Um, don't mind the mess. It's quite uh, messy. Um, I have one disk running right here and if we go to the other terminal window we can see that it is running and it is about 0.14% done. Now this will take a long time because it needs to rewrite the whole disk. So it will probably take uh, 14 hours or something like that because this is a 10 terabyte drive. This is going to take a very long time. I have also gotten ready another drive here that I'm just going to plug in and then I will show you how I'm going to start the formatting on this drive right here. Now, here in the terminal, I just went ahead, I plugged it in, both are plugged in now. Um, I went ahead and just uh, did a LSBLK. This shows me that I have some disks here, SDA, SDB, and SDC. Now, SDB is my boot drive, that's the one Ubuntu is running on. SDA is the first drive where we have a reformatting going on up here. I can go ahead and show you. So if I go up here, we can see that SDA is being formatted right now as we speak. Um, and SDC is the one that I just plugged in, the one that we're looking at right here. So what you can see is they are showing zero bytes. And that is because our operating system is not able to detect the 520 um, block size. So what I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do is you can basically install a program. I'll show you here. If you install this one, sudo app install sg3utils and dash y. You are able to do a command like this. If you do this, a sudo sg format, format size 512, do sda, but now we need to do sdc. So if I run this command and then type my password, you can see that it will uh, begin a format in 15 seconds. All right, so it has just started formatting and this will then go on for many, many, many hours. So it will take a while. You will have to be a bit patient about this. All right, so I just went ahead and waited for the uh, progress bar to our progress status to go up. So we can see that we have begun formatting. Now, one thing that is uh, quite interesting is that you can read here that it is a NetApp drive. And uh, prior data, prior to changes, was a block size of 520. So this is what we are changing right now. And that should be enough to get this drive working in any other OS system. So I'm going to go ahead and just clip the video here. And I'll see you when these drives are done. And I'll give you a status. All right. So it's been just about 24 hours. This took a really long time. And I didn't really have a chance to be at the computer uh, to check sooner. But let's have a look and see how far this have uh, been going. All right, so as you can see here, you can see that a format unit is now complete. We had uh, four disks running and we have four terminal windows. This one, unfortunately, is not finished yet. It's almost there, so no worries. And this one is complete and this one is also complete. So what I went ahead and done is I went ahead and wrote a LSPLK just to see the disks that we have. And you can now see that we have a 9.1 terabyte disks and 9.1 and 9.1. That is the three disks that are done. Uh, and these disks are 10 terabytes each. So that is uh, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and just try to boot down um, the Linux image. And then I'm going to go ahead and boot into Windows and we'll see if we can detect 
these drives in Windows. So I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, we now have three disks that are 9,300 gigabytes. And this is the three that finished. And we have the fourth here that never finished. Don't mind that, I didn't let it finish. I kind of just wanted to move on with the video. Um, I'll do this format in another time. I have about 50 disks that I need to format, so no worries. But as you can see, these are completely usable. We can create a normal uh, partition or whatever you call it. And uh, you can use it just like a normal disk, like you would. It's just formatting and you can see right here, we got it done. And just like that, we have a usable disk that is 9.1 terabytes after formatting. So really good, very easy to do, and uh, definitely something you could do. Linux is free, so this is something everybody should be doing uh, if you have these disks or you can get them cheap. And if you have a, a HBA card that it can actually support this. Now mine are SAS disks, so you need uh, a HBA card that will support SAS. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If not, um, sorry about that. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.